Okay, you just plucked what looks like a button right there. Yep, that's what it is. I don't know if this thing will focus, but there's a design around it. Yep. Nice little button. Looks like just more designs on the back. Alright, on to the next one. There's your typical horseshoe. Oh well. On to the next one. Okay guys, any ideas on what this is? I just dug it out of this hole right here. And it's got three rings on it, but it's it's tiny. It's like a 46 caliber, maybe. Uh, maybe a 52 cal. No, no, no. 48 caliber probably. It's got one ring right here, and it's kind of got a big gap, and then it goes up, and then another ring, and another ring. And it's got a tiny, tiny hole. If you can see that right there, right on the bottom, it's been fired. You guys know what that is? Like what type? It's, it doesn't have a white patina, so I don't know. It might be silver or so. If you guys know, leave it in the comments. All right. Until the next time. Okay guys, I got what I think might be a shield nickel. I'm not sure. I can't get any detail off, but I think I might see a shield on the back. I don't know if you guys can see it or not. I've only got about 30 minutes, so I gotta go we gotta go do some a job. But um hopefully that's a shield nickel. I'm not sure. I dug it right here. You can see where it came out of the ground right there. It was just like that. This dirt's been turned up, that's why why it was like that. Alright, sweet. Hopefully that's a shield nickel. On the next fire. Well look at this. I didn't really touch it, but right there. Nice point. Just laying down the dirt just like that. Wow. That's a nice point. Too bad it's broken. Alright, on to the next. Got a piece of a horse file. Ain't that cool, but I mean. Better than nothing. Pretty old. Alright, on to the next time. Well guys, I was hoping to hunt here today and uh, get some relics, but um, it is. I came here, swung the coil for a minute, and uh, swung the detector for a minute, and uh, found one button, overall button, I don't know what it is yet. It is. It's freezing out here. <laughs> it is really cold. So, um, yeah, it's it's gonna be like 18 degrees tonight, so I'm I'm done. I'm, my hands are freezing, like my feet and everything is just freezing. Okay, guys. So this coin that I found yesterday, um, it was really hard for me to uh, get anything off of it. I had to come home and do all kinds of cleaning methods to it and all that, and um, it was just too far gone. But um. I know what it is, and I don't know if you can see, but if you look right there in the, pretty much the center of the coin, you can see a number two. Let me try to point that out for you. Hold on. See, right? If you look right above my fingernail, on right there, do you see that too? It's really hard to make out. Um, I barely made it out that's a two and that means that this is a two cent piece and if you look a li little bit harder which you won't be able to see it on camera you can see the wreath going around it see that right there on the other side I can absolutely see nothing it's just too corroded the date would be judging by the two you flip it around the date would be right there but you can see nothing I, I, th I think I can see an eight but it's really hard but yeah, that's my first two cent piece. That's as clean as it's going to get, guys. You can just see the two in the reef. But, uh, yeah, it was probably dropped by one of the Civil War soldiers there. Um, this coin dates from uh, 1864 to 1873. So, there's a good possibility that it was dropped by one of the soldiers there. Even though there was a home site there, but soldiers trained there and camped there. So, um, yeah, that's pretty neat find. That's my first two cent piece, even though it's corroded. That's what Tennessee dirt will do to stuff. Just absolutely eat it away. Yep. Hope you guys enjoyed this little hunt. Uh, hoping to get out again today. So, um, catch you there. Bye.